the number one hog rider attack strategy at Tunnel 12. The Queen Charles Mass hog rider attack is what we will be covering in this guide, and in my opinion, it is the most broken hog rider attack strategy. And even professional esports players have relied on this attack. Queen Charge, Twin Hog, and he's using indeed the Queen Charge hog rider. Arm. Twenty-eight of them. The Queen Charge hogs might just be coming back. Now here's the base wheel attack, but let's first take a look at the army. Here is the army we'll be using, and I'll also leave a copy link for this in the description below. Now for our CC, we'll take the flame flinger with some hog riders. First thing we're gonna do is to deploy a hog rider right here on this corner to test for any traps like Teslas, and then the flame flinger right behind that after the traps were tested for, and looks like there is none here. And the goal of this flame flinger is going to be to take down this compartment and ultimately that multi. And the main thing you wanna look out for when you're using the flame flinger like this is mortars because they can reach it. Now quickly, we're gonna deploy our queen up here, and then we to test for any seeking air mines, then all five healers, then a baby dragon to funnel off the top corner there, then to break the wall with one of our super wall breakers because we want our queen to go into there and then we're going to funnel her right side with the baby dragon generally i would like to funnel with the king but in this case there's not much value for him here so i'm just going to use a second baby dragon now i'm going to send in another test coco loon and right now we do get that tunnel activation at the same time we do get the enemy cc pull which is two big priorities we want to get down with the queen the town hall and the cc so we're going to quickly poison the cc then rage our queen up just to keep her HP up. The main benefit of raging the queen is just to keep her HP up, otherwise it has minimal effect on her damage output compared to the advantages it gives to normal troops. We're just going to drop our second one to help her keep dealing with this queen to keep her alive. And there's not much more value that I can see here, so we're just going to save the third one for now. Now, we're going to go down here on the bottom side with our king since we didn't use him to funnel earlier. We're going to use him just here on the right side and then in between him, we're going to spam in all the hog riders right here to get into this eagle artillery compartment as quick as possible we're going to drop a rage out in front of them then pop a warden's ability before they have time to exit his eternal tome so we get maximum benefit of the invincibility now we just have this one heal left so we're going to try to put it over here in front of this multi which was the biggest threat the most of the hog riders were there just keep their hp up now we just got this back one which is the main threat left so we're just going to continue to use any free spells we have left to lock down that multi and at this point we have a lot of hog riders left so it's looking pretty good and we want to make sure we are using our wizards spread out in the back to take out these trash buildings as well and we also did have those max tog riders that just came out of the flame thing as well i hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching